Hello, I'm a robot designed for the nuclear industry. I'm one of many devices developed by the National Centre for Nuclear Robotics. The NCNR is a UK consortium of experts in robotics, artificial intelligence, sensors, radiation and embedded systems. I don't have a voice or face when I'm at work, but hey, this is an explainer video. In the UK, we have nearly 5 million tonnes of legacy nuclear waste, dating back to the 1950s. Packaged up, this would fill Wembley Stadium. Using current technology, it's estimated that it could take up to 120 years and cost as much as £200 billion to clear it all up. That's why the UK has invested £42 million in the NCNR. Our goal is to reduce this burden on the taxpayer and make the environment safe for future generations. Robots like me can enter no-go zones where the levels of radiation are so high it's unsafe for humans. In other areas, humans can handle radioactive materials but only for limited periods and by wearing special air-fed suits, which then become contaminated. One barrel of waste packaged by one human results in another 11 barrels of secondary waste filled with contaminated suits. That's why they like to use us instead. We work longer shifts and reduce problematic secondary waste. To be really efficient, we need to develop a solid understanding of our surroundings. So the NCNR has experts in robotic perception, 3D modelling, artificial intelligence and sensing and measuring technology. We're developing robots that can be deployed in hard to reach locations. These robots are resilient enough to access and assess disaster zones and fix complex nuclear waste problems that couldn't be solved before. The overriding mission is to make the process of nuclear decommissioning, maintenance of existing facilities and new builds safer, faster and cheaper. But investing in robots like me has benefits way beyond solving our nuclear legacy problems. Most likely, technology developed by our NCNR experts will be applied to areas as diverse as unmanned aerial vehicles, crop harvesting and more efficient manufacturing bringing economic benefits to the UK. The technology will also be helpful in other hazardous environments such as space and underwater as well as in home and social care. Areas where having a voice and face really does come in handy. If you want to find out more about how NCNR research is tackling our nuclear legacy and the potential it has to benefit our everyday lives, please take a look at the research themes on our website.